So here at CES, NVIDIA is showing off a lot of hardware, including its autonomous vehicles. So they invited us to climb aboard a fully autonomous BB-8, and there it goes. Yeah, it wasn't what I was expecting either, but let's climb aboard. And away we go. So, Urz, you've been out here all day on this specific track, but nothing's, yes. nothing's programmed into the car ahead of time, right? It's interpreting everything as we go along. That is correct, yes. There, there is nothing programmed in the car at all. So it learned everything that it does here from data, essentially by observing how we as human drive this course. So it's got a lot of different surfaces too. It's got gravel, it's got rocks lining the road, and then the, the white lines to steer it around, and it's still interpreting it. And I gotta tell you, this feeling is so surreal of just watching an empty driver's seat while the wheel turns. It's haunted. It's a haunted car. <laughs> so this uses an, uh, an NVIDIA brain, right? The PX2 that uses two GPUs. Why, why is a GPU so well suited for self-driving cars? The parallel nature of a GPU is lends itself very well for simulation of neural networks. And neural networks is really what has driven the, the recent AI res revolution. So we can, we can uh, what's very important in this car is that we can simulate these neural networks lightning fast. So we're processing here 30 frames per second. So 30 times per second, the, the, the PX2 makes a full analysis of, the, of an image we've and been, makes a decision. We've been tricked though. We're going around in circles, somebody threw up a sign and now we're trapped. So this is how you fool an AI car, is just throw up road signs that keep us in an infinite loop. Oh good, we've escaped. They released us. Ah, oh, thank goodness. This is unbelievable. So how might this AI maybe useful for the future of gaming, these neural networks? Can you see an application there? Um, I'm sure that will come, yes. Maybe so... like the AI of the of the opponents in games, or what I'm thinking is now, instead of driving somewhere, you could just sit in the back with your gaming machine and still play while yes. your car takes you where you need to go. So now you don't have to take as much time away from gaming. That's how I would apply it. <laughs> that works. Oh, well, thanks for the ride. This was fun and cozy.